everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Saba and on this channel you see videos for beauty, lifestyle and YouTube growth. So I ended up going today to B&M and I purchased quite a few things. They are not majorly like house decoration stuff but whatever I purchased I thought I would share it with you. I wasn't sure if I should take a camera and actually film it while I'm shopping it but if you guys like that kind of video then leave a comment down below so that next time if I go to any shop like that I can actually do that and show you what's new in the shops. <music> In this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification and do not forget to give it a thumbs up it helps me a ton so there are quite a few things to do with cleaning and washing so I am just quickly going to begin with that and show you the stuff that I've got I am a big big sucker for good smelling clothes once they're washed so I'm always in hunt for something that smells really nice so the first thing that I picked up is the comfort creations and it is a new fragrance but I have purchased that last year as well so I believe it's not that new so it's called blended by perfume expert water lily and lime it gives you 33 washes and it smells absolutely divine normally I use the one that's in the blue color and um, that's the standard one it smells absolutely amazing but this one smells like out of this world. You guys have to try it if you haven't already. That's what it looks like. And I will tell you how much I picked it up for as well. So I have the whole entire list of my purchase and it cost me $1.99. So normally when I buy it from Asda or Tesco, it costs me quite a bit more, which is, I think if I'm not wrong, about £3. But that was a bargain because I picked it up for £2. The next thing that I got, and again, I am an absolute sucker for this, is the Biocor spray. Now, when I moved into my flat newly, and that was the very first time I started living completely on my own, and I had to do all the cleaning by myself, and I was really, really annoyed with the fact that the lime scale was building every single time I was having a shower, and I couldn't get rid of the marks in my shower because it's all tiled. So I tried everything and nothing worked, and then, my friend came to my rescue and she said that she uses Vicor and she was like just give, give it a go because it's something that gets rid of the marks really quickly and I purchased it and it is amazing. So if you guys have issues with your um, shower glass or your tiles that your um, sinks have marks of lime scale and you can't get rid of them with anything then just try this leave it on and leave it for about five to ten minutes before rinsing and then drying it off with a cloth it works wonders and a lot of people don't know about it but I have introduced this product to my mom and so many other people as well and they thank me for it I purchased that in the fresh scent so you get the um, standard one as well and then you get the Febreze one and I prefer the Febreze scent because it is really nice and refreshing. So this I picked up for $1.99 whereas if you were to go to any other shop it is much more expensive. I think the only other shop that does it for cheap is Lidl's so go and pick a box of them up because trust me you guys will love it so the other products that I've picked up are wash gels I am always in hunt for nice smelling wash gels I know that a lot of people prefer the ones that are sensitive depending on obviously the skin type but I am all about smells as well as how it works on my skin and Kerex is the one that I absolutely love because they always come out with some amazing scents this is the standard one that I love when it comes to showers or even like their hand washes. This one smells amazing and this is called the Moisture Plus Shower Cream. So even if you get the Moisture Plus in hand wash, it will still be the same scent and it is amazing sm uh, smelling hand wash. And this one is shower cream which I picked up for £1. Similarly, this is the same one. Um, Kerex but it is in yummy drumstick squashy so you can imagine it's raspberry and milk. You can use it in shower and you can use it in bath and it smells so nice. It literally 
is making my mouth salivate. It literally smells like strawberries or raspberries and like milky candy and I can't wait to use that while having a shower because I love to lather myself in something that smells amazing. Once you come out of the shower you still carry on smelling off that thing so I cannot wait to smell off candies. The next product that I have is the Duck Extra Power Foaming Bleach Gel. That's something that I have not used before. I did pick up the Duck in um, I think floral one. It's the pink colour and I've been using that but this is something new. It's called Foaming Bleach Gel so I'm guessing it is going to foam up. So it's something new that I wanted to give it a try and the Duck products work really well for my toilet and I guess a lot of other ones as well. I was using just thick bleach to clean my toilet but I have switched up to duck and um, yeah they're only a pound I believe in a B&M so you can't go wrong with it and um, yeah if you guys are interested you can go and pick it up and by the way I am going to leave all the links in the description bar down below the next thing I picked up is the Elst Descaler and um, that is something that you can get really cheap in B&M I think it was one pound and um, it is used to just descale things I personally use it in my kettle because in London or I guess like all over UK there is a lot of lime scale and it builds up really really quickly but um, I may have used one about two months ago and I just saw this morning that my kettle has lime scale in it and I cannot stand it so I just picked one up it is very easy to use you just literally pour it into your kettle and just um, boil it up with hot water and just leave no you boil the water up first pour that in there and leave it on for like hours I just end up leaving it for five six hours when I'm not using it and it takes all the lime scale off and it works wonders there are about three in there yeah three sachets in there so it will last you a couple of months next thing I got was from the beauty kind of section that they have it is the exfoliating foot peel by derma v10 um, last time my um, friend actually picked one up and she said really good things about it she said that her skin did peel off and she had like some really nice baby skin that actually came out afterwards so I cannot wait to try this because it's winters and my skin on my feet is actually quite dry I do moisturize my feet but still it is still quite drying at the night when I take my socks off so it would be quite nice while I'm watching TV I can put this on and just let it sit and wait for the skin to peel off in the next coming days this one is in tea tree and peppermint and that was only one pound literally so cheap sticking by with the cleaning and nice smelling products I also picked up the Febreze bathroom air freshener I picked one up during Christmas time in the vanilla something I think was it cookies or something like that scent and it is really nice but I still personally prefer the fresh um, scent which is the cotton fresh and everything so I picked one up um, in that scent it is something that you just leave in your bathroom there is a button that you click and it just releases fresh scent all through your bathroom throughout I keep this and I also have this um, pump thing from a um, from Avic Febreze I believe uh, the one that just goes off every 30 minutes so both of them combined makes my bathroom smell amazing so yeah that was a thing let me just check how much that was that was $1.99 so that's quite cheap as well sometimes you can get them on offer so you can pick them up for one pound but today this was quite cheap as well because usually you will see them for three pounds i also picked up the carmex um lip balm um i used to love vaseline but since i tried carmex and everyone used to rave about it and i was like what is it all about and when i purchased it i cannot turn back to any other lip balm it works wonders i just put it on during like before sleep and it just heals my lips if they are dry and even during the day i tend to use that a lot and i prefer this um, chapstick kind of thing you can get a tube as well which is very easily available and this one is not so easily available everywhere so i saw it and i picked it up it was just over a pound so it is worth the price and um, yeah you guys should give it a try as well the next thing is nothing interesting it is just bin liners i tend to buy mine from little normally but today i picked up just the normal ones um, for 15 liter bin and um, they were just a pound so something very cheapish and do, does wonders you can't go wrong with bin liners to be fair so that's the bin liners I also picked up the three pack round over the door hooks 
So I've been in search for over the door hooks for a very long time. When I moved in, I picked some up from Ikea and um, the width of them was not as wide. So when I came home and I tried to put it on my door, it did not work and I had to just use it for my cupboard doors in my kitchen to just hand, uh, hand up the um, towels there. But now that I've found these and they look quite wide, so I'm sure they will be able to fit on my main doors just so that I can hang my jacket or something over there when I come into the flat. And um, yeah, they were £4 and they look really nice. I'm guessing it is going to look quite chic on my door and will go with the whole colour scheme of my flat. So uh, yep, that's one thing that I picked up. So B&M's home section is one place that I take ages in because they have some really nice amazing bed sheets they have really nice throws they have really nice cushions for your sofas and i just want to pick up everything like today i was looking at their rugs and oh my god they had a really nice teal color rug which i have already purchased mine because the color thing that's going on is gray and teal and white um so yeah i couldn't pick another one it just did not justify that why would i pick another one when i already have one but that was amazing they had them in other colors as well so if you guys are interested and are looking for something like teal color and really nice soft plush rug then go and check them out um but today what i got was this waffle throw so i've been seeing a lot in um a lot of youtubers videos that they use this waffle throw and i've been looking for one for the longest time with a good decent price tag that's not too expensive because the one that i've been using is gray but it's not that nice looking it's very cheapish i think from primark that i picked it up from or uh, done Elm, I can't remember, it was a very long time ago. Um, but this one looks really nice. It was only about 15, yeah, it was only like 15 pound. So that's what it looks like. And it is 200 by 250 centimeters. So it must be quite big. So I can't wait to cuddle up in that, have a cup of coffee or just like hot chocolate and watch my program, which I'm watching nowadays. If you guys are interested and looking for a really good program, on Netflix then there is this Arabic one called Juman I think and it is really good so just a quick hint that you guys should go and watch that but yeah that's the other thing that I picked up and I am so excited to use that the other stuff that I was looking for was something to organize my cupboards if you guys are mums or if you guys are just living by yourselves you know that cupboards are hassle if you have like ketchup bottles or just random things in the cupboard and you try and take one thing out everything else starts falling so that is the most annoying thing and i wanted to organize it in a certain way so today in bnm i came across a range of these plastic things that you can use in your fridge or you can use in your cupboards and i picked up quite a few so the first one i picked up is like this it's a container so you can tell from the picture that um, you can actually store quite a few different things some people I mean like they have like packets of pasta or whatever in there but I am planning to put my um, instant coffee sachets because I always keep the boxes and keep the sachets in there and they are just roaming around everywhere in my kitchen so what I'm gonna do is just put all my sachets in one place so that they are in one container and just organized in one place so I got that for £1.50 so a bargain for that they are really good quality acrylic boxes the next acrylic box I picked up and I picked up actually two of them as well they were for three pound and they are a bigger size to put like say my pasta um, bags or I can put like ketchup and mayo like things like that so that they don't keep on falling and tripping when I try and pick one thing up so that's the size of them they are nice and big and I picked up two of them so that I can just arrange all these baggy things like lentils and stuff that are like everywhere or just like spices, bags. I can put them all in one place. got two of these and that cost me £3 each. This one here is a large fridge tray but I am most likely not going to be using it as a fridge tray because I don't feel like I need to organise my fridge. I have mostly like containers of food in there. Um, so if that fits then I will put it in here otherwise I am going to use that mainly again to put stuff in my um, cupboard and organize 
things i can see in the picture that they have put like bell peppers or like you know fruits and vegetables if you can see so you can use it for different different things you can also put your cans in there you can put like vegetables or anything that fits in here really but i am mainly going to be using it for um I guess like ketchup bottles or just little knickknacks. I am gonna have to look what's in my cupboard. There's loads of things that can go in here. But that's what I got from B&M. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then let me know what kind of other shops would you like me to go and film from? Um, what kind of videos you like to see? Do you guys enjoy watching videos where I sit down and share my stuff that I bought? Or do you guys enjoy where I actually go in the shop first and actually film what I am picking up and show you the new stuff that's coming out in the shops and then do a sit down haul straight after. So I would love to know from you guys in the comments bar down below. Don't forget to subscribe and again do not forget to hit the like button and the bell notification to help me out in the future videos. I will leave you guys here. I shall catch you guys in my next one. Love you.